morning, we're going to take the derivative of f of x equals x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. Um, we can jump right in and do the quotient rule, but we could actually factor this and first and simplify and then take the derivative and get the same answer and make it a little easier on us even though we'll still have to use the quotient rule. So uh, the numerator factors into x minus 1 times x plus 1 and the denominator factors into x minus 1 times x plus 2. So in fact there's a whole if you remember anything from your limits at x minus 1, so there won't be a derivative there anyway. Uh, so we can cross that out and just take the derivative of x plus 1 over x plus 2. So f prime is going to equal x plus 2 in the denominator, x plus 2 quantity squared. And we'll take the denominator, x plus 2, times the numerator which the, der the derivative of x is just 1, the derivative of 1 is 0, so it's just times 1, I guess if you want to put it there, minus the numerator, which is x plus 1, times the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1 as well. So we'll end up, we'll distribute this negative sign, clean it up the numerator, we have f prime of x equals x plus 2 minus x minus 1, over x plus 2 squared. Um, the x's will cancel and then of course 2 minus 1 is just 1. So our derivative ends up being f prime of x equals 1 over x plus 2 squared. And that's it. So we simplified in order to make the derivative easier. We would have got the same answer um, regardless if we would have began. Like I said, there's a, there's a hole at x equals 1, so it's not differentiable at that point anyway.